Hi, in this video we're going to focus on building an employee directory using Office 365 and Power Apps using the Office 365 connector. So stay tuned. So in our last video we built a, a model using a balsamic to figure out what our mock-up of our application might look like. So if you're curious about what we're, we're trying to build right now, we're trying to build a, a shout-out application for my HR team. So now we want to go through and actually uh, build the first screen in that application. So to do that, we're going to focus on the, the employee directory first. It's a nice bite-sized chunk we can address today. So you may remember before, this is the uh, Balsamic website. Uh, this is the home page for my new application. And then right here is where we we'll focus on the day. It's the employee directory on the left. This will be our second page in. And so we'll create two, two screens, one for this, one for this, but we're only gonna work on this today. So inside of Power Apps, after I sign in, I'm gonna create a brand new tablet application which took a few seconds to uh, uh, launch. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a better name now just so we can kind of focus on it now. So I'll call, I'll call this screen um, uh, employee home. And then I'll create one more screen here as well under new screen. And let's just make this a, call this one create SCR, uh, create shout out or shout out create. Okay. With that now done, and I, I misspelt my, my create there, but you get the uh, not camel casing it. So with that now done, uh, we have two screens. I'm gonna focus on the second screen today and we're gonna build just the gallery that's gonna show the list of users. So to do that, we'll use the same connector we've been using in the past, and that's the Office 365 connector. So I'll go over to View and Data Sources and I'll select my Office 365 connector. One of the big gotchas of as we add these connectors, just a quick, quick heads up, is as we add these, our users will get ask permission to, to use their, their information. So is it okay that, for example, that I, I see your profile, your image, and all that? So as a, as a user opens up the application, they will get a prompt for asking permission to do this. Uh, this will make a lot of sense in this case though. So now that we have our Office 365 connector in, let's go ahead and create our gallery. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert this gallery, just a vertical gallery in this case, and I'll just kind of wire this up uh, pretty easily. So I want to be able to search for an employee. So let me go ahead and create a new text entry. There we go. I'll make it a little bigger here so we can kind of see that. And I'm going to rename these because these will be essential players inside of our, our screen here. So I'll call this TXT and I'll put input employee. And I'll call the other one uh, gallery employee list. Okay, so there we go. One thing to make sure is make sure that that, that, that input is not is outside the gallery, as you can see here, and not inside the gallery, like we would see here. So with that now done, let's go ahead and wire this gallery up. So I'm going to select my gallery, and on the items entry, I'm going to change it where it says custom uh, gallery. Let's go ahead and use our Office 365 connector. So we'll use uh, not the director ports, but we'll use there we go. And the one we want to use is search user. Okay. And I, you know, it's kind of helping me build this for me automatically, right? I'm going to go search text and search term. And let's go ahead and pass in what gets passed in from the uh, that one text screen above it. So I'll do txt input. There we go. And that'll be dot text. Perfect. And we can also go through and specify how many do we want to show. Let's kind of just stop here for a moment here and just make sure everything looks like it's working. As you can see, as we in a moment here, as I get out of text input and change this to nothing, and then change the hint, I'll just say, please search for an employee. You notice we're getting a few rows now back, even though we don't actually showing anything, we're getting rows back now. There's some reasons why we're getting those errors I'll, we'll come back to in a second. So if I go back to this again, it'd be nice not to see the, every employee, but maybe I'll just get the top amount of five employees with that. So if I hit comma, you can see I can type in top and I'll just say top 10 employees. So you notice up top here is that you give me all the hints I need to actually build this for me automatically. Now that I've done that though, I need to wire up each of these items to my gallery. So over here, when I go to edit, you'll notice it says image, title, and subtitle. Perfect. So I want the title to be the name of the employee. Okay, so I'll just do display name. And then I'll make the subtitle, that's going to be maybe their role in the company. So let's call that just, um, 
uh, how about we call that uh, where to it go it's job title there we go and lastly we also want may want to show the picture here as well so for the picture I'm going to change this now you'll notice uh, it has sample image that's fine but to do this we need to do a few more things around this that might make us a little more usable so uh, one of the big number I mentioned before you can use like user dot image or user and pass in the ID and pass in the image it has some gotchas though, so instead I'm going to use the Office 365 one for user photo. Now here's where the gotcha might be in this case. One of the gotchas, you can pass an email ID or principal name. The challenge is I've constantly had issues when I pass in the email, email ID. Now if you're watching this video a year from now, maybe that uh, bug has been fixed now, but at least at the time of this video, uh, passing an email address gets you some very un unpredictable results. So instead of passing an email address in, I'm going to pass the ID for the user instead, and that view generally works much better. So to do that, I just want to know whatever I'm item I'm looking at here. So I'll do this item dot ID. There we go, and that should give me the photo. There we go. We're starting to see images of our my kind employees here. There we go. Looks perfect. And we can also put, put some extra pizzazz in this. Like one of the extra things I like to do is go through and select the whole gallery and add a little fill color to this to make it look like it's a, a distinct part of the of the page. So let's, let's go more, uh, let's go lighter than that. There we go. A little blue there, our pragmatic works colors. And there's one more thing. We have some employees here that uh, maybe uh, external employees. I only want the enabled ones. So to do that, I'm going to put a filter on this as well. So I'll do a filter. There we go. Open parenthesis. Now filters allow you to do a client side filter or, or even server side filter on some of these items. So to do that, I'll do comma and I want account enabled equals true. There we go and end that. Now we should only see the actual active employees. Uh, instead of seeing the other employees. So when I play this now, if I search for uh, Knight, we'll see all the Knight brothers, as well as a few other ones in here, as well as my son, and uh, who's my test account here. And if I search for Mulek, you get the idea. We're seeing him, and, his, and even if they don't have an image, we could put some if statements in there saying, hey, if they don't have an image, then show this image instead. There is a function called uh, image user data, uh, metadata, that you can use to kind of figure out do they have an image or not. So you'll see that if I were to do an if statement, uh, I can go that over, over back over here again, select this image, and just to kind of show you real quick, you can go Office 365, and as I scroll down, you'll see a function here called uh, user photo image, user photo metadata, and there's a there's an option there of uh, do they actually have an image or not. So you can use that to figure out that or not, and put an if statement. I'm going to keep mine simple for this, but you see how to, how you can do it though. So really easy application to kind of build our employee directory. Now that we have that employee directory, our next stage to, uh, is to build out the rest of the application. So we're going to now take this. And then tomorrow we're going to connect a SharePoint and actually use it to build out our first forms. So stay tuned tomorrow to watch out how to connect to SharePoint. This is part of our uh, many videos that we know uh, on our App a Day series. But we also have a, a Power Apps class you can get at pragmaticworks.com or click on the link down below. Please also like this video and subscribe to our channel to get future videos like this and let us know what applications you want us to build also. Thank you for joining us today and have a great day.